Hello my friends, welcome to all movies, today I would like to talk about Robin Williams, well known for his improvisational skills, and the wide variety of characters he created. The original release did not include any of Williams' scenes. It was re-released just before Popeye premiered, with his scenes included, and advertised as his movie debut. Your little miserable children! Who taught you the meaning of doodah? Henry, are you all right? Don't worry about me. What about our date? We've got to find a place to hide it. For those of you on drugs, Superman on me. Here they go. Take a look at What do you do? Do you just uh, use that to scare people with? No, it keeps rain off my head. <laughs> are you Richie Cunningham? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's me. Is this your house? Uh-huh. Look at that. Henry seems to care. You've got so much to bear, ma'am. Can I... Blow it down. That's it, that. Oh, it's the wind and air. This was Robin's first starring role in a movie. Most of Popeye's lines were discovered to be inaudible once filming rap. He had to redub much of the dialogues. The makeup appliances for his fake forearms were not ready when filming began, so in early shots, Popeye wears a long-sleeved raincoat to hide his normal-sized arms. Up and square, up and and what are you talking about? Well, I've seen wavy hair before, but never hair waving. Look at that. Oh! Christopher Reed turned down the lead role, then Jeff Daniels was considered, but ultimately lost out to his good friend Robin Williams. Glenn Close plays Robin's mother, yet she is only four years older than him. She teaches kids that go to graduate school. Oh. Well, graduate school is where you go and gradually find out that you don't want to go to school anymore. <laughs> oh, listen, I, I know, I know all about it, and I think it's a hideous thing that you've done. I didn't know you knew. You can talk. Yeah. For sure. Robin was attracted to the project for several reasons. He said, first of all, after Gar, I wanted to do a far out comedy. Secondly, I like the basic premise, if we stick together, it will all work out. It's sort of like yin, yang, and yang. You've got me, you've got Walter Matthau, and then you've got Jerry Reed, whose character is like a cross between Rogers and Jack Nicholson. He's a lovable villain. Do you read Ernest Hemingway? Every fucking day. Kiss me beautiful. Beautiful? Beautiful. In preparation for his role, for about a year, Williams studied Soviet customs and learned the Russian language. He had learned to speak it quite well within a month. He also spent months learning to play the saxophone and, according to his tutor, achieved a level of proficiency that would normally take a student two years. No. There's only one way a man can come back to his woman after she's dumped him and still maintain his pride. Only one way. Crawl. Oh, with dignity, of course. Do you do that left to right or right to left? Both ways. Just in case. Yeah. You Catholic? Williams and Kurt Russell both played high school football before becoming actors. The two also performed all of their own stunts during the scenes of them playing football without any body doubles. How come the dog gets to sit in there while we're freezing our ass off out here? It'd be cruel to let him out on a night like this. He's just a dumb animal. No, they were the dumb animals. He's my partner, he's my friend, he's a reggae machine and a fashion statement. Forget your annoyance because here comes Ernest Reed and the flamboyant. The film was originally intended to star Bill Murray and John Cleese. In the end, their roles were filled by Robin and Peter O'Toole respectively. I like you because you're honest. Because you're shorter than I am. We look like a before and after picture. Now, come on, let me buy you a beer. Sometimes your face looks like a fish in a Gulf of Thailand. It's true. Williams had lived all of Adrian Cronauer's broadcasts. His portrayal of Cronauer has led to confusion as to the beliefs of the real Cronauer. Cronauer has said 
that the film is about 45% accurate and that it misrepresented him to make him seem anti-war when he was, in his own words, anti-stupidity. Furthermore, Cronauer has also said that if he'd done half the things Williams did in the film, he would have been hey, short marginal. I know you tune about the little chip in there, but mm -hmm. I was just looking for a little relief myself. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's cute. Looks kind of like June Allison. I bet she's got a voice like tearing a sheet of homo soda. <laughs> I'm I mean, sorry. You must refer to me by my complete title, King of Everything. Ray de Tutto. But you may call me Ray. You know, the moon is a very insignificant part of my domain now. There is so much, 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 much more. <laughs> Robin was a last-minute casting, after the budget had run out, and performed his role uncredited and unpaid. No! No, go away! No! I despise you! Let me go! <laughs> I'm back! I got lips again! And I'm gonna use them, baby! <laughs> it's me! I'm your elephant of joy! Oh. Seize the day. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. Why does the writer use these lines? Because he's in a hurry. No! Ding! What attracted Williams to the role of John Keating more than anything else was that Keating was the type of teacher he, in his school days, always wished he had. He considered this movie one of his favorite films he did, and Peter Weir the best director he had ever worked with. Upon the death of Robin Williams in 2014, the famous line, Oh Captain, my captain, was used by many media outlets in his obituaries. Okay, so not every sale works out, but I gotta keep trying because you know why? A lot of them do work out. And when they do, oh, I feel great because I'm making someone happy. Listen, tell what? Hey, look behind me. I can't talk in front of ladies, you know what I'm saying? Hmm? Come on. You let the ladies go, I'll tell you everything. What do you got against the ladies? They never did anything with Donna. No way you're gonna be a wimp. Hey, lose the gun, huh? They won't respect me without a gun. They're cops. Larry, they're cops. They're gonna be real nervous if you come out with well, a gun. Well, they got guns. It makes me nervous. Larry, come on. Look. Hey, I don't have a gun. It's gonna make me nervous. Now, come it on. was an immense project. I was to extract one decagram of myelin from four tons of earthworms. Really? Yes. I was on that project for when filming the scene where Dr. Sayer and the security guards attempt to restrain Leonard, Robin accidentally hit Robert De Niro in the face with his elbow, breaking his nose. De Niro later commented that his nose had been broken before, in the opposite direction, and this injury straightened it back out. It is also one of William's favorite films of his own. In the box, on Shaq Don Lavois. Ready? Here we are. That's right. Use those claws. Make me believe that you're that little pussy. There we go. Mm. Yes. Chuck, you didn't join us at all. That really pisses me off. Let's try it again for a brief moment. Time out, everyone. Fuck you, I'm on a break. Uh, Mr. Carlisle, I've been retained by the law firm of Opperman Crow to find you and tell you that uh, Myron Spargo died last month. Who the fuck's Myron Spargo? Yeah. I don't know if it was bullshit. Being one of his few horror, thriller movies, Williams didn't want his name to appear in the opening credits, as it might have misled audiences into thinking that this movie was a comedy. He only has three scenes with director Sir Kenneth Branagh and one with Dame Emma Thompson. Oh, but I do believe in fairy. Oh, now without dinner. <laughs> you fucking nuts! Viola! Let's show him what he's won! I have to advise you to let us go. Oh, you advise us, huh? Yeah. I like New York in June. I'm in the wrong place. Aren't we all? I like a Gershwin tune. Don't hold back. OK. <laughs> oh, Lydia, oh, Lydia, say, have you met Lydia? Lydia, the tattooed lady. She has eyes that men adore so, and a torso even more so. Well. Oh, I'm dying. I'm heading towards the white light. I've left my body. See, there's my house, way down there. There are my feet. Oh my God, where are we going? Save your children, of course. How do you know about my kids? Every... Oh, I got it! <laughs> Steven Spielberg had such a hard time working with the rebellious crew of young actors that he later said, only somewhat kiddingly, that the experience made him wonder if he wanted to have any more kids. However, after William's death, Spielberg says he is now thankful he made this movie, as that was how he met Williams and became best friends with him. Uh, primary, primary testing laboratory. No! Pass the probe. <laughs> Graduate students all gather forward. No! Love the haircut. <laughs> Ten 
10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. Hang on a second. Whoa! Whoa! During the course of recording the voices, Williams improvised so much, they had almost 16 hours of material. Because he ad-libbed so many of his lines, the script was rejected for a Best Adapted Screenplay Academy Award nomination. Oh, look at that! Stand back, it's gonna spit! I can't control myself any longer! How do you do that? Magnets. It's one of Dad's favorite novelty items. Robin states that dyeing his hair orange and the costume he wore made him feel like the sixth doctor in Doctor Who. It was released about a month after the release of Aladdin, in which he voiced a genie. Because of this, Williams asked Disney to keep his name out of the marketing for Aladdin and for the genie to not take up more than 25% of the movie's ad space. I remember him saying something about that. Are you sure you want to walk in, dear? That's three floors. Robin's own son did not recognize him in his Mrs. Doubtfire outfit until he started speaking. According to one biography, he decided to test out the believability of his costume during filming by going into an adult bookstore and making a purchase. He was able to do so without being recognized. The prosthetic mask used by him in the film was actually a prop. The real makeup was made up of eight separate pieces. Up the hill! Beach! No, oh, they're down there! I saw them! The other beach! No, up the hill! Home. I said this chiasa, this little chiasa. No, I don't want chiasa. your word for home. I want you to say mine. <laughs> home. 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 Chiasa. Can I have them? You can have my shoes. They're perfect for here. I've got to walk 600 miles, Francisco. 600 miles on these sandals. Oh, man. Come if you on. were me, you wouldn't be wearing this suit, I guess. Stop it. The suit is great. Really? I don't look like an Irish pimp. I didn't say that. I know. I'm sorry. I was mean to Hank. You weren't mean to Hank. Yeah, no. No the cat in the hat. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. You have a problem with it? No, no. no. I am not a communist. Well, I was briefly a member of party, but it was not a party for me. Uh -huh. But it was only for medical reasons. I was a scientist. In Russia, I was chief of abstraction. All right! It is a full moon! Everybody is going into labor! Before Chris Columbus worked with Robin on Mrs. Doubtfire, he had seen him in comedy clubs in Los Angeles, where he was blown away by his energy. He thought him one of the most impressive minds in comedy. He filmed his small supporting performance in this film, at the same time Jumanji was being filmed. Oh, Sheba, you spoke French, how bad. Look at you, my little piñata. How are you? Chi Chi, you must meet the only man of money matters, Mr. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> Robin admitted that he did not need to act startled for the scene where Van Pelt is shooting at him, as the blank gunfire was extremely loud on set. He would often give fake answers to people who ask him what the title meant. I tell them it's an island in the Caribbean. Book your travel there early. Kirsten Dunst and Bonnie Hunt greatly enjoyed working with him as he made everyone laugh on set. You're gonna have to get yourself a uniform and dress like a butler. No, I'm gonna look like a fag. Maybe, but you look like a fag in a uniform. Adieu, don't ask, don't tell. Williams was originally cast as Albert, but he wanted a change from flamboyant characters and asked to be cast as Armand. Mike Nichols agreed and recast him. Nichols required that Nathan Lane and Robin filmed at least one good take of each scene sticking to the script before he would allow them to improvise, something both of the actors are known for. Something wrong? Oh, I'm okay. Just can't sleep. I had a scary dream. Can I sleep in here? Yeah, of course, buddy. Stimpy too. Francis Ford Coppola gave Williams camping gear to spend the night in his backyard and $10 to spend at Toys R Us before shooting the film. Robin agreed to play Jack after Disney apologized to him for breaking their promise to keep his name out of the marketing for Aladdin. You don't want to go with me? I'm an old lady. <laughs> but that's why. That's why I want to go with you. I can't go with the girls my age because I look so much older than them. Oh, come on, enough of this dark past. 
Let's roll out something a little new. It's a big, bright, beautiful future. You can fall asleep on the comfy couch after playing one-on-one. -on -one. Screaming back to back that you want up the shack. I carry an India rubber bulb. I always walk with my hand closed around it. If I squeeze it, it activates the detonator. Works on the same principle as a shutter of a camera lens. Exceedingly, my lord. It is very sultry as twere. I cannot tell how. <laughs> but, my lord, his majesty bade me signify to you that he hath laid a great wager on your head. Williams and Billy Crystal were not allowed to be on the set at the same time during filming for fear they would crack up the cast and crew and cause major production delays. With me. What's the matter? Tim, I have a feeling I, my wife is sleeping with her gynecologist. <laughs> How do you know? Well, you know, he's got access, you know? <laughs> you know, you just feel and you get, you know? Like when you go bowling and you know you're in somebody else's shoes? That's the one. <laughs> Cola Richard? <sighs> My God, how are you? Oh, me? <laughs> oh, I'm not bad. <laughs> you little gentleman. Oh! 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 You little shit! They Before appearing in this film, Robin and Billy Crystal were already a well-known comedy duo thanks to their work on HBO's Comic Relief. Oh, 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 is there anything we can do? There's nothing we can do. I can't adjust. Just look at yourself. You know? Look at yourself. There's nothing, there's nothing to do. It's sort of you sure? You sure you're okay? I'm fine. It's just it's, it's fuzzy. It's kind of. Yeah, fine. Maybe maybe you should go lay Daddy, down. I'll Daddy bring you some tea and toast in bed. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy doesn't need that. Okay. Yes, come on now, you be nice. Nothing worse. What? Mel was more out of focus than ever. I gotta get to the doctor. Uh, have you seen the paper this morning? Oh yes, I did. You know, if I could solve this whole metastable compound business, I could save the college. You know, a new energy source would be worth a fortune. I'll be right back. Philip! Oh. Philip, are you hurt? Just my pride. According to Will Wheaton, in the scenes that he was in with Robin, they would film a take the way it was supposed to be filmed. After that take, Williams would often want to improvise scenes differently than the script, just for fun. Those scenes were not added to the actual film, but there were enough scenes to make an entirely different movie. Was she, you know, banging some other guy? If you ever disrespect my wife again, I will end. The lines in the scene when Sean talks about his late wife's farting antics were ad-libbed by Williams. That is why Matt Damon was laughing so hard. If you watch the scene carefully, you can notice the camera shaking a bit, possibly due to the cameraman laughing as well. After Robin died, the bench in the Boston Public Garden became an impromptu memorial site, and a petition has been passed around to erect a statue in Williams' memory near the bench. That'll change in time, Chris. Oh, come on, Einstein! Time's not something my watch anymore! Time does not exist here! And wherever it went, it's not gonna make me need Annie any less. Like I said, you don't know us. Is that kind of an occupational hazard of soulmates? One's not much without the other? I just wanted us to be old together. Those two old farts laughing at each other as our bodies fell apart. Together at the end, by that lake in your painting. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Beanie knows a lot more than we give him credit for. Excuse me, Beanie? Which way is heaven? <laughs> Correct. I must warn you, my report will read, AMA, that you were signed out of this hospital against medical advice. Patch Adams said that whenever the film's production would get stressful, Robin would improvise a comedy set to make the cast and crew laugh. It was partially filmed at the University of North Carolina. Williams did stand-up comedy for some classes that were in session while filming. Bye-bye, little girl. Thanks for saving my life, huh? You'll have to excuse me. I'm very tired. I'm going home. You should do the same. When the Russians are that close. Because they are, aren't they? 
Yes, Professor. What? The radio says they are. In the eyes of the Gestapo, I'm the biggest yid they've ever seen. The light. No miracles for part-time Jews. Huh? Would you care to hear the three laws of robotics? Said to be a most entertaining presentation. Okay, sure. Will you step back, sir, to maximize... Adam Bryant, who appears as the android head, has been William's stand-in for more than a dozen films. When Andrew regales the family with jokes, the jokes themselves were unscripted. Robin ad-libbed all of them. The other actors' reactions to the jokes and their laughter are real. He shaved off his considerable body hair to play the robotic Andrew. Starving minds, welcome to Dr. No! Fast food for thought is served up 24 hours a day in 40,000 locations nationwide. Ask Dr. No, there's nothing I don't. You're Will Yorkin. Yeah? Cy Parrish. I'm the photo tech here. I do all your family's pictures. Oh, right. Cy, Cy the photo guy. Right. No, I believe I can, Bill. Williams often played practical jokes in the middle of a take during the making of a film. According to producer Christine Batchen, Williams burst out of a doorway completely nude during one take for a chase scene. In preparation for his role, he trained for two and a half days at a photo developing training facility in Southern California. Friends come in all sizes, that's a fact, it's true. All the colors of rain go from mauve to blue. The names are different, the shoes don't match. Fucking traitor! My body was barely cold and you went to work for the rhino. I gotta eat, don't I? Oh, you strapped that horn on faster than a hooker leaves Salt Lake. You're a crinkle kid, not a smooch bag. Say it, Rhino. Say it. Uh, Once and for all, now and forever. What happened to gracefully marching forward? Motherfucker! I wasn't worried about the locals. I knew they'd connect me to Kay eventually. I could handle them. They never look in the eyes of a killer. Killing changes you, you know that. Robin would later say that the isolation of filming on location in Alaska contributed to his falling off the wagon and drinking relapse while shooting this film. He speaks his first line 47 minutes into the movie, and he doesn't appear on screen until 58 minutes in. His character does appear earlier in the film, but is not identifiable and is possibly played by a stand in. After my initial cut, I will need to speak with Isabel. Is that necessary? There's nothing that any one of you can tell me that I won't know very soon. He's at a party, in a crowd. Never mentioned by name. I've got to find him, though. If he's not a main character in Bannister's life, it'll take the guillotine days to track his face through the footage. <laughs> Why'd you steal it? Because I'm a bad man, Tommy. Did you steal it for me? You wish. You know what, Lenny? No! Happen. You don't think I know, but I do. How many sleeps will you be away? How many sleeps do you come back to? Not two. Did you follow me? No, not at all. Well, then wh why are you here? <sighs> I could ask you the same question. I just want you to leave me alone. I can't do that. I see a woman standing alone on a pier looking over a ledge. I gotta help. What? Perfect. That'll be 50 bucks. 50 bucks? For what? A beautiful picture of your first moment in Robot City. There. I've captured your second moment. That's another $50. Are you keeping track? Ah! 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 Margaret, you scared the wits out of me. Look at that dog. She's just a little puppy. At one filming location in Winnipeg, there was a playground behind the set. Robin spent some time amusing the kids, telling jokes and autographing everything from movies to children's shoes. Oh, brother, <laughs> missed you. How do we know it's him? Oh, come on, where would I get another one? Got the money, Mac? Yeah. Listen, with the way I'm feeling, I might say something wrong. Oh, you won't say anything wrong? 
But you like the book? It's somewhat raw. Yeah. But powerful. It's a brave kid. How old is he? 14. I'm sorry. I, I, I made a mistake. I thought, I thought you were someone else. I'm, I'm... Who are you? sure what really happened. But it is clear that Donna and I are more alike than not. Dad, somebody's stealing the RV. No, Carl. Nobody's stealing. It's just rolling backwards with no one in it. Not me. I embrace every challenge. Yes, my name is Rachel Tensions. <laughs> yes, indeed, dear. Contestant number two, your name? My name is Misogyny. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I thought he was really hot. William based his performance on a combination of his own stand-up routine and Jay Leno's. In one scene, playing on a television in the background, is Billy Crystal dressed as a turkey and Robert De Niro as a pilgrim. The clip is from a post-9-11 commercial to boost New York tourism. You are a nation of peeny weeny piffling piccolini piddly diddly poof. On that night, everything in this museum came to life. And every night since. Some men are born great. Others have greatness thrust upon them. For you, this is that very moment. For you, you gotta finish the job this time. You can't quit. I made a wax, Larry. What if I'm cheating with a woman who's really, really ugly? Does that make it all right? No, it does not make it all right. It is still a sin. What other sins? Anybody? Don't hesitate to draw on your parents' bad examples. Okay. Well, you might want to pick up speed a little bit, huh? Wait, wait, why would we do that? Oh, because there's a parking space up there. I don't want to lose it. Got it, Sadie! <laughs> Space. Okay, here's your lug wrench. It goes like that because the lugs are right here. But they're tight. They're rusty. They're old, all right? And you can't get them off and you're angry and you're cold and you're really, you want to tear each other apart. Go. The gods are reminded there's something else besides us in this universe. Harmonic connection between all living beings everywhere. I teach you everything I know for free. You get Roxanne. You get my corner of the park. You get to keep half your tips. We're like a team. The story is based on the plot of Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Williams' performance as Wizard was reportedly inspired by rock star Bono. I've been yucking off. But for TV, I've been popping off. But you can call me Bob. Okay, all right. Well, Bob, where are you from? I'm a, a back off. Okay, so. Not the end of the world, but you can see it from there. <sighs> My favorite. Robin initially intended to take a small role as a favor to writer, director Bobcat Goldthwait, with whom he has been close friends since their days performing stand-up comedy together, but was so impressed with the script that he requested to play the lead instead. Kyle died accidentally while masturbating. I made it look like a suicide, and I wrote a suicide note. You think I'm a sex addict? No, I think you might be an alcoholic. No, I'm a functioning alcoholic. Yeah, we've talked about this, Jack. That's a very misleading term. In my day, I bawled a lot of chicks, you know? Where were you born? Right here in New York City on 20th Street, October 27th, the year of our Lord, 1858. At around six minutes, according to the director's commentary, Robin did the hologram robotic voice, including the fast forward part, all by himself. This night is the last. I think I got it figured out. Yes. It's doing what you love, isn't it? With people you love. Actually, I was going to say physical exercise, but the love thing's good, too. Be the edge. I don't want to be the edge. Hey, mister! Little help! Sure thing, guys! Ah! Whoa! Ah! 
John Travolta and Robin Williams were close friends in real life. Although Kelly Preston was married to Travolta, in this film, she is paired with Robin. This is the last time he was working with Disney. You know, Flavito, the truth is for wild maverick outcasts like us who cannot be tamed. This place sucks! Have you been successful thus far being intimate with young Melissa? Excuse me, sir. Father Moynihan is just fine, son. What I'm asking is, is Miss O'Connor's virginity still intact? No. Forgive me, Father, for this is bullshit. No, it's a lovely gesture to make your guest. This is the second time Williams has played a priest marrying a couple. In this movie, Robin quotes Oscar Wilde's, marriage is the triumph of imagination over intelligence. Second marriage is the triumph of hope over experience. This movie reunites Robin and Forrest Whitaker after 26 years. Their first appearance together was in Good Morning, Vietnam. Williams plays President Dwight Eisenhower. In the Night at the Museum movies, he played a magically brought to life wax statue of Theodore Roosevelt, and in Man of the Year, he played a fictionalized president. It's just all headstones and benches and mausoleums. The whole shebang, I mean, it's, they have more dead than they know what to do with them. No, I don't go too often anymore. I get it. Uh, I miss you. Oh, I miss you too. <laughs> so is the, uh, the new friend here? No, no, he's not. No? No. Well, maybe we, we can grab lunch sometime. I would love that. You know, just as friends. Yes, yes, I would love that. Her mother bought her the complete set. Shellfish butter knives. Stuff made her laugh. You know, stuff still makes me smile. Oh. Honey, don't worry about the bird. He's gonna move. Honey, the bird's gonna move. He's gonna move. He's gonna move. I honestly thought he was gonna move. All we have to do now is let the wine breathe and we're good to go. The wine, I completely forgot. Oh, damn it. Oh, no, if we don't have a reasonable Cabernet for Winston, he'll pout all the way through dessert. I'll go out and grab one. Oh, you don't have time to go to the wine store, Nolan. I'll hit the mini mod around the corner. No. Last dramatic movie of Robin Williams. He was an enthusiast of both pen and paper role-playing games and video games. His daughter Zelda was named after the title character from The Legend of Zelda, a family favorite video game series, and he sometimes performed at consumer entertainment trade shows. No, you're not. What the hell? I ask you, what the hell? That was a red light you ran. Can't you tell red from green? You took the test, right, when you got your driver's license? Remember that? Multiple choice, number two pencil, dirty walls. And what does red mean? Does it mean go? Does it mean... Last movie released before his death. On August 11, 2014, at his home in Paradise K, California, Williams committed suicide. Why? Because we have to have sex immediately. You told me I was going to die in 90 minutes because your cat jumped out a window? Everybody has a bad day, please. This is, this is my bad day. Bullshit. I'll smoke in my goddamn house if I want to. It's my house. Name's right there on the mortgage, right there on the mailbox. His name on the mortgage, Donna? His name on the friggin' mailbox? Oh, boy, slow down! What are you doing? Not sure if you can see me back here, Mr. Mitchler. It's Trooper Zabaki. Say it! If you could just say it! Come on, boy, you're gonna get us killed! Because, uh, we're about 10 miles from where we're supposed to be here, and, um... I don't know where else to put this, except... We're hoping for a friggin' Christmas miracle. Bring me once more into the breach, dear friends. The fool seems agitated. That's often his way. But I assure you, he's no fool. Final movie to feature Robin Williams in an on-screen role. His last movie, Absolutely Anything, would feature only his voice. This movie is dedicated to the loving memories of Mickey Rooney and Williams, who both appeared in the movie, but died before its release. Look, I just can't concentrate on anything until I've had one of those biscuits. I know it's crazy, but that's how it is. I guess I'm kind of hooked on them. So please, give me just one biscuit, then I'll be able to think about something else. In a 2009 interview, Robin Williams said that he always wanted to star in a movie with Simon Pegg. It is his final movie. The film was released a full year after his death in 2014.
And that's all my friends, thank you for watching, and see you next time. I can't. Then give them to me. You wouldn't have the powers, but you'd know what they were. And being a dog, all I want to do is follow orders. I'll do what you tell me to.